Hey, hi, hello everyone. I'm Oman Work. I'm the creator of Adonis.js. We are about to announce an update in our preview release candidate. And uh, this release has some moving parts because we have fundamentally changed the way we compile TypeScript. So I thought it would be nice if I can actually walk you through upgrading one of my existing app to this new release and basically talk about the changes. Now we have put together this blog post which basically talk about the changes and there is this section which uh, shares you know, like five to six points that you need to follow in order to uh, upgrade your existing apps. So let's try to follow these steps in order to upgrade one of my existing application. All right, so uh, let's run this application and see how it behaves right now. So if I start the server, And yep, it works fine. There are no errors. And uh, I also have some tests for this project. So let's try to run them as well. Yep, everything works fine. So now let's follow the blog post and uh, uh, try to update all the dependencies to the newer versions. So the very first thing we need to do is uh, we need to get rid of these two dependencies. So Adonis.js slash fold is the IOC container and Adonis.js slash ace is the command line framework. Now, both of these dependencies are part of the framework core and hence you won't have to install them separately inside your application. So let's remove them. Okay, once done, uh, you will see a lot of warnings related to peer dependencies, but you can ignore them for now. They will be fixed once everything is upgraded. Uh, the next step we need to do is we need to upgrade all the remaining packages that are installed and are related to Adonis. So if I open the package.json file over here, uh, we have like these four dependencies and then we have another one uh, that's a development dependency. So let's get started with these four first. Here, right, I'm gonna say npm i adonis.js slash core at the rate alpha adonis.js slash auth at the rate alpha. You need to use the alpha flag because under the preview release, everything is behind this tag only. Okay, once done, let's move to our development dependency on Adonis.js slash assembler and also upgrade this one. All right, once done dealing with our dependencies, we can now move to tweaking our code. So over here it says we need to update all the commands that we have in our project to get rid of this import and instead rely on Adonis.js slash core. Uh, in this project, I don't have any commands. So basically I don't have to change anything. However, inside this file, we also need to get rid of uh, this import or basically get rid of relying on Adonis.js slash ace and introduce core. So standalone. And the reason behind this is uh, Adonis.js slash ace is no more a direct dependency of my project. So it's not a great idea to rely on it inside my imports and instead I should rely on core. Finally, we also need to get rid of this extension altogether because we are not compiling the code from TypeScript to JavaScript anymore. So we don't have any files with .js extension. And instead of using .ts, it's better to be extension agnostic. So let's get rid of that as well. And the next step is if you're using the auth package, which I am, 
we need to update our config file and get rid of top level import statements and instead lazily import the model. So let's open this file and copy the module path, get rid of it. And over here, we need to replace it. So we need to say it's a function that imports this model. And I believe that's pretty much all you need to do. And now if we try to run the app, it should work fine. Okay, it works fine, but we do have some uh, deprecation warnings for env.get or fail. And now we have like remove get or fail method because you can validate your environment variables in a different way. So there is no need to use this method. So if we go to our config slash app, we can get rid of it here and we can also get rid of it here. So we don't have any deprecation warnings anymore and everything seems to be working fine. The next step is to make sure that all the tests are working fine as well. But for that, we first need to change a couple of things. Now, if I go to my package.json file and look at my test script, uh, first thing, we don't have a build folder anymore. So we need to get rid of that and there is no .js, basically a JavaScript file, so we need to update the extension to .ts. However, Node cannot run TypeScript code directly. And for that, we need to basically require a module that will allow us to do that. So here we'll say Adonis.js slash assembler, which is basically this module, and then pull in build slash register file. And next thing is we need to update this files globe, get rid of uh, the build because again, there is no build folder. Again, there is no JavaScript file. So we need to upgrade the extension to .ts. And finally, earlier we were setting our project root outside of the build folder. Now we don't have to do that anymore. I believe that's pretty much all. Let's try to run tests now. So we say npm test and right away we get some errors. Here it says migration run is not a command and it's because we don't have the ace manifest file. So we can say generate manifest and now try to run test. Yep, everything works pretty much as it should. And yeah, that's that's pretty much all you really need to do in order to update your apps to use the latest version of Adonis Trius.